Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Chef Dave. I know, two weeks, two Chef Dave episodes. I know, I'm on a roll. I'm getting in, back into it and I want to kind of do some more videos. So, if you guys haven't checked out my last video, I'll leave a link in the description or top right corner of this video, you can check out one of the cards and I did the Moroccan pancakes. And yeah, it worked out really well. Some of you guys really enjoyed it. So I do appreciate all the comments and the support. Thank you very much. But today, we are going to go back to Walt Disney World. We're going to be recreating cheeseburger spring rolls. Now at first I thought they were egg rolls, but they're not, they're spring rolls. And they're much different. And apparently they used to be in the parks many, many years ago. And they actually took them away and then they've brought them back. And they've actually recreated some other things like it was like a bacon mac and cheese filling. They've done a fillet cheese steak and some other versions of these uh, sort of spring rolls. But I wanted to kind of focus on the cheeseburger ones because obviously they were the originals. So we're going to recreate this. What I'll do is I'll leave the description below will be the full recipe. And also right now, if you just pause the video, write all the ingredients that you need. It's actually not as much as you need. And let's get making this awesome dish. Let's go. Right, so we have our minced meat just here. We've got some chopped uh, garlic clove and a small white onion all diced up. Got a frying pan on which is hot, hot, hot. Gonna put some oil in. Doesn't really matter what oil you use. Use any fancy oil you want. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna brown or s sweat, not really brown, but sweat the onions and garlic off. So what that means is you're kind of cooking it but not browning the actual uh, vegetables and then later on we're going to brown the minced meat mix it all together once it's all browned and cooked we're going to transfer it into a bowl uh, try and drain off all the liquid we can because you want to make your spring roll filling a little bit dry nothing too dry but you don't want as too much moisture in because it would make it all soggy when you deep fry it so one onion diced let's cook away and uh, one chopped clove garlic I'm only using one because I don't want to overpower it too much because obviously the mint is the most important thing in this dish. Let's get it started. So we're going to let these uh, sweat off and then once they're all sweated, we're going to add the minced meat in and continue. Okay, so onions have all sweated down. They're not fully cooked, but they'll cook more when we put the mints in. We're going to add the mints in now. I'm using frozen mints. You can use fresh or frozen, whatever you prefer. And we're going to pop the whole stuff in. I'm going to let that brown off with the onions. Okay, so the mince is all browned off now. There's no raw meat showings, which is good. So what I'm going to do now is, if I kind of pan the camera back a bit for you, you'll see what I'm about to do. There you go. So you've got a colander here with a bowl. I'm going to transfer all this inside to the colander to try and drip as much moisture as I can. What I'll do is as well, I'll move this. You can kind of see that. So let's add all of this into the mix. Or into the bowl, sorry. Not into the mix, but into the bowl. Lovely. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this to chill, to cool down. So when there's no more steam, I'm going to transfer it from the bowl in from this colander into another bowl and then we're going to add some more ingredients and then start building up our um, spring rolls so yeah let's do it okay guys so meat has cooled down I've, I've transferred the, it from the colander into a bowl and we're going to add some items to uh, this to add give it the more of the cheeseburger flavor so I've got here a tub of chopped pickles or gherkins whatever you call it I'm going to add two tablespoons to this I think if you want to add more, it's up to you. I'm not a big fan of gherkins. I know my, my little Steffi is, she loves them, but I'm not a big fan. And then I've got basic mustard, like you would use for hot dogs or for burgers. And I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of this. I quite like mustard, so I'm gonna add two. I'm not gonna add ketchup to this because, actually might a little bit more. I'm not adding ketchup to this because you can pretty much use it as like a dipping sauce. So I don't think it really needs it. So I'm just gonna mix everything together. So yeah, once this is all incorporated, I'm going to start getting the actual pastry out, the spring roll pastry. I bought mine, like again, in a Chinese convenience store. And yeah, I got the larger ones. So right, that's all mixed in. I'm gonna move this to the side. I'm gonna get our pastry. Okay, so this is the spring roll pastry I got. 
It has 40 sheets and it's actually quite a big spring roll pastry compared to normal ones. The normal ones you get are smaller. When I went to the shop, they actually said, do you want small or large? I went for the large because I want to try and make it more of a bigger filling. Um, in Walt Disney World, they actually are quite small. And saying, I want to try and make these like really big sort of spring rolls. So yeah, we're going to get this open. Okay, so update to this. I was going to get some water and I kind of looked online really quickly on other sort of spring roll recipes. Apparently there's a particular type of paste that you have to make to seal the actual spring rolls. So it's actually very easier than I thought it was. So in this bowl, I've got two tablespoons of plain flour, just basic plain flour. And it's kind of like a glue we're going to be making. Um, let me just move this out of the way so you can kind of see. So you've got two tablespoons of plain flour or any flour you have in the house. And then you need three tablespoons of water. And three. And then you just mix all this together. I you need to yeah, mix it all together. And it becomes like a paste. It's quite a thick paste though. That's quite a thick paste. I'm gonna add some more water. Maybe that wasn't a big enough thing. From what looking on the videos and stuff, it was like, it was like quite like a, a watery paste, so. So this is like the glue that apparently holds the spring rolls together. Apparently that's what you do. Again, I have no idea if this is true, but I'm gonna give it a go and see how it works. It's very easy. Just a little bit of water, flour. I don't think it has to be like smooth. It's only a glue, you're only using a little bit. So yeah, we'll put this to the side and we'll bring back the pastry. So yeah, corner side, like sort of diamond shape. And we're gonna put the filling just here not in the middle here, because apparently that's where you're gonna start rolling and then you're gonna basically turn it into your spring roll. So, singles, cheese singles, well we call them singles because they're not technically called cheese. One slice and we get like a big one. I've actually cut it in half. So I'm gonna place it just there. And then I'm gonna get a spoonful or maybe a little bit more of a spoonful. Okay, so I have never wrapped a spring roll in my entire life. This is the first time for me. So what I've read is you need to, Ooh, this is challenging, okay so, we're going to start from the top and try and tighten it as well so if you hold it and then try and pull it kind of will tighten up a little bit better for you and then gonna roll and then apparently if you, so I'm not sure if you can see this bit here if you get your finger and kind of tuck it in and then push the actual pastry sort of like that so it kind of that bit in the middle is a bit more tucked in than normal you do the same with the other side so it kind of looks a little bit like that again I'm only I've never done this before then you get some of your paste Ooh, it's not very nice you just put some on the top Again, I have no idea how much I'm meant to put in. I'm just kind of guessing. And then you kind of roll. Kind of like that. Hey, I'm quite proud of that. I've never done a spring roll before. That looks pretty good. So I'm gonna continue making the rest and see how many I can actually get. I think I could get a pretty good amount with, with this filling. And I think that's a good size. So that's my hand. I think the other ones you get in Walt Disney World are kind of like a bit thinner and a bit shorter, I don't know, but yeah. I'm gonna put this on a plate and then I'm gonna continue making more, sorry. Right guys, so in the end I got to make 10 cheeseburger spring rolls and they actually worked really well and the paste is a dream, amazing thing. If you're ever gonna use spring rolls, make that flour and water paste. I know probably some people will probably know that, but look at how cool they are. So I'm gonna get a pan on the heat and I'm gonna start heating up some oil. I'm gonna fry these bad boys and we're gonna have some cheeseburger spring rolls. Okay, so we've got our pan of boiling boiling oil, sorry, not water, oil, in there where we're gonna fry the spring rolls. I'm gonna try and put like three or four in at a time. So we've got a couple here. I'm just gonna pop in and wait till they get nice and brown and then we're going to flip them over and go from there. Right, 
So, it normally takes about, I'd say like three to four minutes to kind of brown these off. So just make sure you keep spinning them. Sometimes they'll only stay on one side because of the air bubbles inside the actual pastry. Um, so you want to try and get rid of as much air bubbles as you can. But I think these guys are... Oh, that's hot. Be careful when you touch them, oh, it's hot. I think these guys are pretty much done. So um, I'm going to transfer these over to a plate with some like kitchen rolls. So always make sure you have this because it dries as much the oil off, as much oil off, off as it can. Can't get the words out. So just transfer them over. Then we're going to keep making the rest, and then we're going to taste these guys. And I'm super excited because these look amazing. Righty guys, so they are all cooked. Just letting them cool down a bit because they're not too hot. Um, yeah, they're really easy to make. I'm going to change the camera angle and then we're going to test these bad boys out. And I'm really excited to try them because they look delicious. Righty guys, so I've got here the cheeseburger spring roll. I've also got a little dip of some ketchup because I think that'll be the best thing to go with it because there's already mustard in the mix. Again, if you're a big fan of mustard, I'll probably get some different type of mustard. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna give it a try. Super crispy. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with the result. And again, super easy to make. Um, yeah, let's give this a try. I shouldn't really be trying with ketchup, but it's, yeah. Whoa, that is some crispy batter. Um, yeah, it's actually really good. I'm actually really surprised by that. Again, the bat, the the spring roll batter is really crispy, so it's been cooked really well. I can taste the gherkins, the onions, the meat. Not so much the cheese. I can get a little bit of it. So maybe like I have seen other recipes where people put more cheese in the actual mix when you're cooking the the uh, mince meat and the onions and everything. People put extra cheese in it, so maybe put some more cheese. But yeah, I'm actually really surprised with this. It tastes like a cheeseburger, you know. I always think that the essence of a cheeseburger, besides the meat and the cheese, is the gherkins and the mustard. I think that's like, whenever you have a burger, you always taste that. So yeah, this is really good. I never actually tried the actual Walt Disney World versions, so I don't really have nothing to compare with it. So hopefully when we do go out in June, which we're going this year, I will definitely want to try them. Hopefully they're on the stores because they do change them every season or every couple of weeks. Hopefully the cheeseburger ones are there and I'll definitely kind of like, update you guys in the video when we're there and say they actually do taste quite similar they're completely different but yeah definitely worth a try righty guys so i hope you folks enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up i really do appreciate it again uh, if you check in the description for our previous uh, chef day video i did last week and yeah make sure to hit the subscribe button make sure to hit the notification bell so you're informed of our next videos and we shall see you guys on the next one see you later guys bye